So the wall's right here. We're right here arguing. He pushes me as hard as he could into the freaking wall. What's up, you guys? You are back with your girl, I Rock for Life. And today, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me, as well as a story time about my ex literally pushed me through the wall at my mom's house. There was a big old huge, like, gash in her wall. And literally, I was so scared. I thought she was going to kill me when she seen it. So I'm going to tell you guys that story. And it's going to be a lot of juicy drama. I'm going to be spilling the tea for you guys. You guys are going to know what type of boyfriend you do not want to have, okay? And literally, I'm almost at 1 freaking K. I'm almost at 1K. I am super excited. Thank you guys, thank you guys, thank you guys so, 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 so much. If you have not subscribed, make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you tell your friends, your family, tell your haters. If you got a dog that got a freaking YouTube channel, make sure your dog is subscribed to my freaking channel. But let's go ahead and get into it. Don't forget to like, comment, and boo. You ain't subscribed. Literally, you are the toxic one when it comes to relationships, and being toxic is not cute. So make sure you are subscribed, but let's go ahead and get into it. So yes, we're gonna go ahead and get started with the get ready with me. I never did a get ready with me before. So yeah, this is going to be interesting. Hopefully it comes out well. Don't mind if I keep looking at myself. If I'm looking a little bit above you guys, I'm literally looking at myself. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna start with moisturizing my skin. I'm using Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula. Cause y'all, my skin is super, super dry. And I have to moisturize my skin because uh-uh. I'll be looking like freaking cracked lips up in here, all right? So yeah, like, yo. Shall I get started with the story? Cause that's what y'all really here for. Y'all wanna know like what happened. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. So what had happened was, okay, my ex, like, low-key got kicked out. High-key got kicked out of his spot, living with his mom. So he was, like, technically, like, homeless. So, like, yeah, he didn't really have nowhere to go. So he was staying, he was staying with us um, very temporarily, you know what I'm saying, just until he, like, figure out, like, if his mom was going to let him back in his house or if he was literally just going to, like, I don't know, like, what he was going to do. But he wasn't going to live, you know, with us permanently. And I wouldn't say living with us. He was just here, like, temporarily. Okay. So, my mom is not even the type to, like, you know, let your boyfriend live with you or spend a night and all that. Like, I got a black mom, okay? She don't be playing none of that. So, it was really surprising that she even let it go down anyway. She probably just felt sorry for him because, like, literally, he didn't really have anywhere to go. So, he was just with us, you know, until he, like, figured out, like, what he was going to do. So, you know, at the time... Me and him, like, recently, like, broke up or whatever like that. I don't know if it was going to be, like, permanently, but you know how you're in a relationship and you're like, you know what, uh-uh, I'm done with you, we're done, but you don't really know, like, okay, if it's going to be, like, for real, for real, like, done, done, done. We were in that little stage or whatever like that. And I'm going to go in with the Revolutions Pore Blur. You guys see that? So it looks like this. And actually, I really, really like this stuff because it gets your skin, like, super, like, silky smooth like that's the way to describe it like it's like silk and it's like i don't know i like literally love this this is it feels just absolutely amazing but okay so what had happened was let me see let me get back on track what happened was i was laying down on the ground right my daughter was in the room it was only him me and my daughter here okay so i was laying down on the floor whatever like that like i wasn't paying him no mind you know what i'm saying because i wasn't me and him wasn't the best on best terms so i wasn't paying him any mind or whatever like that so i'm like laying on the floor like this right with my phone i'm like scrolling or whatever he's walking over me i'm in the living room he's walking over me like a few times but i wasn't paying him no attention i was like just busy looking at my phone or whatever like that i'm on my phone this fool yeet he snatched my phone so freaking quick i've never hopped up so quick to like get my phone you know how i feel like my phone was unlocked okay he had my phone in his possessions okay we wasn't technically together at the time so you know what i'm saying i didn't want him to see anything that was in my phone not that not that there was anything to see anyways okay but i didn't want him to be in my phone like don't be in my business uh-uh you go get some business of your own all right you already here okay be grateful that you're here type stuff you know what i'm saying so he got my phone and that's what started the fight so <laughs> What are we going to do? We're going to do our eyes first because I just want to get the hardest part out the way. So we're going to go in with some concealer on our eyelid. Pro Conceal. This is in the color Fawn. So, okay, he got my freaking phone. And that's when the fight started. So I'm over here trying to, like, snatch my phone away from him. And he over here, like, you know what I'm saying? So we're tussling for the phone. So he throws my freaking phone on the ground. Yo, I was absolutely freaking pissed. Like, that was my first iPhone I ever had. That was the only iPhone I ever had. It was the iPhone 6 Plus. So, yo, I was like, my heart freaking shattered. Like, why is you all in my business? You know what I'm saying? Like, get out of my business. And so he threw my phone on the freaking floor. 
like a toxic freaking ex would. He threw my phone on the freaking floor. So now we're like pushing, we're shoving each other. And it was just, it was just all bad. Luckily, my daughter was like in the room. And she didn't get to like witness or see any of this or whatever like that. He's yelling at me, you know. Oh, like, well, what you got going on in your phone? Blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Calling names and doing all that and stuff like that. And it's like, bruh, it's none of your business. It's so funny. Going in with X's and O's. That's so funny, eh? X's and O's. You know what I'm saying? This is like a little X story time. But yeah, I'm going in with X's and O's. And this is from ColourPop. I love this palette. It's super cute. It has amazing colors. My son dropped it, so I'm missing one. <laughs> but it has really cute, pretty, like, burgundy colors. And I love this palette. So I'm going in with uh, Fortunate right here. So I'm just doing, like, I'm trying to do, like, a quick look, okay? So I'm just going right here. You guys see, like, what I'm doing? I got my mirror down here. Okay, so you guys know, like, when you, like, freshly break up with uh, the person you're with, they're like super jealous or whatever like that. They wouldn't all be in your business and give you the attention and all that that they should have been giving you like initially in the very beginning. So he was like doing his little jealous rant or whatever like that. And it's like, in my opinion, like, bruh, if you cared so much, guess what? You would have like never done what you did or like whatever the situation was, like you would have fixed it. Because I know for big facts, it was not me literally. Whatever he, whatever happened, which I don't even remember like why we were like not together. It was probably something small, but... It, I know for facts it wasn't me because it's never me, okay? It's never me. I never do anything, ever, okay? I'm like a freaking angel. Like, I never do anything. And we're going to put on the eyelid. We're going to put Reckless. I'm using the brushes from... I got this off of Amazon. It just says BS Mall. It's some makeup brushes and it came with like probably like honestly like 15 or 20 brushes for a really good reasonable price. I will link that in the description box down below. So you guys can go check it out if you guys are interested. I will have all the products in the description box down below. So I won't be telling you guys like the brushes because literally I don't really know like exactly what I'm doing. I'm just using like any brush like that I would normally use. Okay, but you guys don't care about that because I'm not like a, like a makeup makeup girl like that. So yeah, you guys are here for the story. But also, you guys, you guys are going to see me, like, beat the heck out of my face. Like, y'all seen me before, but I'm going to look bomb as ever after, okay? You yeah, me? So, we got that. You guys see that? Got that burgundy on the lid right there? Like, let's go ahead and intensify that a little bit and add some more. Like, ooh. So, he take my freaking phone. We're, like, shoving. We're fighting. I'm fighting for my phone. He throws my freaking phone on the floor. And I'm just, like, super pissed. I go and like snatch my phone really really quick because my phone was freaking unlocked. So I snatched my phone and he like pushed me. So we're pushing, we're shoving, we're like rolling on the ground. We're like doing literally the most, but we're still in the we're still in the um we're still in the living room. My daughter's in the room, you know, no one's here, it's just him and I. Okay, let's look good. We don't we're not looking for perfection today. We're just gonna do a little cute little look and we're gonna okay. I'm already messing it up. So I'm going to go back in with this little brush right here just to blend it out. So, okay, we are in the hallway now, okay? We're still pushing, we're shoving, you know, we're, like, there's no balled up fists or anything like that. And there's no slapping going on. We're just like pushing each other, shoving each other. Like, that's what we're doing. We're in the hallway right by the bathroom and we're still, you know, we're yelling, uh, we're, we're fighting, we're saying really nasty, ugly things to each other. And this fool pushes me as hard as he freaking could he pushes me into the wall so the wall's right here we're right here arguing he pushes me as hard as he could into the freaking wall the wall caves in okay so i'm in the wall he's looking at me and he's like and i'm just like and instantly like i start crying like i was just like oh i was crying not because of like the pain or anything like that our wall is very, very thin. We live, uh, my grandmother built this house so many years ago when she first moved here to this town. So the walls was like super, super thin. So it wasn't like, it was too surprising, honestly. After I, after I analyzed things, it wasn't too surprising considering the fact that the walls, uh, that wall in particular is pretty thin. So yeah, I started crying instantly because I thought like, my mom is going to freaking kill me. Like, I hate you so much. My mom is going to freaking kill me. So I was just thinking about, like, how my mom was going to literally, like, 
react to like there being a huge she was at work i believe there was a huge gash in the freaking wall like i met like my body my whole body this right here was like caved in in the wall so we're gonna go in with elf we're going to create a little line nothing too crazy because yeah like okay we ain't doing crazy today we just doing something simple a little cute burgundy like look or whatever Ooh, okay i see you did a little some 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 okay let me not hype myself up too much and then i mess up so i made this line rather thick actually nope we're gonna leave it we're gonna leave it the way it is okay we're gonna leave it the way it, mm, hold on let me clean it up hold on let me clean it up a little bit <laughs> don't judge me too much on this makeup look you guys okay because i'm just trying to like talk tell a story and do my makeup okay so now we're gonna go in with a maybelline's lash sensational curvitude so we're gonna go in with this so okay after that we're still fighting even now now i'm like super angry i'm super pissed uh, um because it's like my mom is going to freaking kill me so like you know we're fighting we're still we're still fighting we're shoving eventually i just go in my room i run to my room i lock the door where my daughter was at i lock the door okay boom just so like he couldn't get in there and like the fighting will like stop or whatever so I run in my room, I lock the freaking door, okay, and he's like banging on the door, like he's just doing the most or whatever like that. And I'm just like, I feel bad because my daughter, you know, now she, she was probably like, I think she was in her very, very early twos. So she's, you know, kind of furious about like what the heck is like going on or whatever like that. And I just like, you know, turn, I just like put on the TV, the TV was already on, I just increased the volume on the TV just so we wouldn't hear like the banging or whatever like that so eventually it got real quiet like everything stopped and i was just like what the hell is going on like what's going on out there or whatever like that like maybe he calmed down maybe he wants to apologize or something or like we can figure out like what are we gonna do because my mom's gonna be home in a few hours somebody's gonna come here and they're gonna see like what the heck happened so i come out the freaking i come out the room right eventually like shortly after i come out the room because it was really quiet and i'm like okay what's going on so this fool got my keys and he locked me inside the house yo when i say literally i went 5150 i went freaking crazy i because you know how you just like being closed in or being like captive somewhere where it's like you can't get out so let me explain to you guys i was captive okay i freak i was freaking hostage because with our front door you can't you can't twist it you know how like most front doors you have a, you have to lock the little knob where you can like twist it to like unlock yourself from the inside to go out we don't have that so we have both we have the keyhole on both sides so you have to use a key to, if the, if the door is locked, you have to use a key to unlock it. If not, you're just stuck inside the house. So, yes, we have those, we have, I don't even know why we have one of those doors. The, the doors, I don't even know why. So we have one of those doors. So I'm going to go in and do my face already because we ready for the face, hunty. So I'm going in with Fenty Beauty. How, how does this look? It looks okay. So we're going in with Fenty Beauty. Let me see Rihanna, okay? This is, I think it's in the number four, f f f f 440. It's the number 440. Uh-oh. So we're going to go in with that. Ooh, it's already 60 minutes. It's not actually, it's not that long. Literally, if I was really doing my face in real life, it would take me so much longer. But I'm trying to like hurry up, tell a story. So I'm captive inside the house, okay? I cannot get out no matter what. The only way I can get out of my house is if he unlocks the door. So what happened was he took my keys, he went outside and locked me inside of the house. Cause I'm pretty sure he knew like, you know, he, I was pissed. He was scared and nervous. I was scared and nervous. You know, sometimes you, you just go into flight mode when you are in survival mode and you just like, you know, you, you, you just, you take flight. So right now, 
he locked me inside the freaking house. So I'm yelling at him through the freaking door. I'm yelling at him to open the door. And of course, you know, he's not going to open the door because, you know, he's thinking, he's pacing. He doesn't know what to do. Like, he doesn't know what to do now. We, like, literally, like, caved in the freaking wall. So eventually, he let me out. And I was super pissed. So now I'm like running after him. <laughs> we have a yard. So I'm like running around the yard. I get tired. And I was like, okay, you know, I'm done running after him. I just, you know, I was just crying. I was waiting for somebody to get home. He was still in the yard. He still had my freaking keys. So I was just like telling him, like, give me my keys. Give me my keys. Give me my keys. Okay, whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? You, you need to just leave. Like, just give me my keys or whatever. Like, give me my keys. You could just leave. You could just leave. Give me my keys. Give me my key. And of course, you know what I'm saying? He's a toxic ex, so he was like, you ain't getting these keys. You ain't getting these keys. You know what I'm saying? You ain't getting these keys. So I probably would have went inside the house and just like locked the door and like left him outside. But I didn't go back in the house because if I went back in the house, he would have he would have locked me in the house like once again. So um, me and my daughter was outside. Like I did not go back in the house. So we he's outside. I'm outside. We're outside looking crazy. Like just ugh, looking a freaking mess. So I'm going in with Fawn. Pro conceal and I'm going to just try to conceal these circles because baby okay my mom did give me something she gave me circles okay so we're gonna conceal these bad boys because you no know, I have like a love and hate relationship with them I totally have grown to love them in some sense but at the same time oh my gosh they can be so hard to freaking hide beauty blender and I'm gonna go, go ahead and blend that on in so we're outside eventually my mom's girlfriend comes home so i was just like oh my gosh yes like somebody somebody that could like make him you know give me my keys and just freaking leave but i was so scared when she comes because she's more of the um she's the type without it that are like you know um i was afraid for her too I was afraid because, like, she gets mad. Like, my mom, she's really the calm, quiet type of person. But she, don't, don't, don't get it twisted, though. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. You know eh. She's quiet. She's calm. She's more on the passive side. But get her mad if you want to. She turns up. Don't play. Like, she turns up. My mom's girlfriend is more of, like, the, um, the one that doesn't, it's not really as understanding, not as, like, you know, um, take things easy, wants to hear it out. She would, she's really, like, dramatic. If that, if that, like, makes sense, like, I don't know, it makes sense. So I knew for a fact, like, you know, like, oh my gosh, she's gonna be super pissed, like, she's gonna be pissed, and I didn't want her to see it, but I was glad that she's seen it before my mom, okay, just because, like, okay, <laughs> I, I prepared myself a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Now, if she, depending on how pissed she got, I would know like what to expect from my mom. Okay, if she didn't get that pissed, like my mom wouldn't be, I wouldn't be as pissed either. You guys get what I'm saying? Like I tried to like, you know. So she seen it, you know. Of course, she was just like, what, you know, what happened? She was disappointed. No, okay, she pulled up. Back it up, back it up, back it up, I rock. She pulled up. So I'm crying or whatever like that. Me and him, me and her, me and him are both talking to her at the same time. You know, I'm telling her what happened. And so she's like, she's like, what the, like, what happened? When I left, you guys were cool. Come back. It's like everybody outside is crying. It, it's, it's a lot going on. So she just like, she didn't really like listen to, she would listen to a little bit of it, but she just like told him like, you know what I'm saying? You, 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 you should just leave for now, whatever, like come back later. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just leave for now. So I was like, yes. She told him to give me my keys. He gave me my keys. I was just like, oh, yes. <laughs> like, she has some type of authority where it's like, you listen. You know, when she speaks, you listen. So, I was so grateful that I got my freaking keys back. Okay, so now I'm going in with, um, I'm already looking better. I'm going in with Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I don't have anything to put it on, so I'm just going to use my beauty blender to, like, put on the powder i have my keys back he's gone so now i walk her in the house to show her the damage that freaking occurred okay yo like literally she was like because <gasps> the whole it wasn't like you know like someone punched the wall punched the wall and had there's a hole so it's just like a little it's like a little hole this was like 
a huge hole this was like super freaking big and i was just like wow like one was gonna kill me so um surprisingly she didn't even tell my mom like what happened or whatever like that before my mom came home from work so my mom came home from work i met her outside <laughs> i was like Ooh. we have the type of relationship with our family where it's like you know what i'm saying we respect our mom um to the highest level all my sisters and brothers, all my mom's kids, we respect our mom. We were raised to respect her and like, in a sense, like fear her because like, you know, I'm the type of person where it's like, I don't want my mom to be mad at me. Like my mom being mad at me is like ugh, a stab in the freaking heart. You know how some people like can go like weeks and d days and months without talking to their, like their mom. Like that's not, that's not how we were raised. Like we were raised to, you know what I'm saying? Respect our mom and all that good stuff. Okay. So yeah, like I was so terrified that she was going to be pissed and she, we both was going to be homeless. Like I'm not trying to be homeless. Like if he homeless, I'm homeless. I mean, come on now. I wasn't trying to be homeless. Like no. And I didn't want my mom to be mad at me. Like overall, like I didn't want her to like, you know, be disappointed in me and you know, all that good stuff because that was like my company. Like I'm the reason why he was here. You know, like trying to help somebody out, trying to do good for somebody. Look at it bites you in the butt, all right. So I was the reason why he was here in the first freaking place. So I didn't want her to like be disappointed in me or like be mad at me. So like I was crying. So I walked in the house. She seen the hole. She wasn't. She, she took it so much better than like I totally like. I'm so dramatic. I totally like overestimated how she was like going to take it. She was, she was not happy, of course, but you know what I'm saying? She was like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Okay, it is what it is. He's uh, not coming back here. I mean, that was, that was a wrap. I don't understand because it's like, bruh, you already like have nowhere to go. And then you come here, start drama. Now, you, you don't, you, you're not here. It's just like, that was like, so that was not smart uh, whatsoever. Like, we're already doing you a favor, letting you, like, stay here. I got a place to go. You didn't have no place to go. So, we're already doing you a favor, like, letting you stay here. Just, like, you caused this drama, and now there's damage, and now you're out. So, now, you, 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 you got to find somewhere else to go now. So, yeah, my mom wasn't that freaking pissed. We're almost done. What are my eyelashes? Ooh, I'm going to have to be quiet on this part. So, it's a blush palette from Sweet. It says Sweet and Shimmer. It's from Ulta as well. And make sure you guys stay tuned for the finished look. We're almost done with the story. So my mom wasn't that mad or whatever like that. So the hole was there literally for the longest amount of time. And every time I looked at the wall, the hole in the wall, I literally like, ugh, I just felt bad. It just felt bad. It just took me back to that same like day. You know what I'm saying? And I just, I wanted that freaking wall to be fixed so freaking bad. Surprisingly, my mom didn't make me pay to, for it to be fixed. But she did leave like the hole there for like the longest amount of time. She probably did that on purpose just so like, <laughs> just so I can feel bad. Okay. She probably did that on purpose. But it was like months the hole was in the wall. But eventually, um, she called someone, had it fixed or whatever like that. So it, it doesn't, it looks good. It looks like, you know, basically nothing ever happened. But yeah, um, that was like horrible, okay? I was thinking about like what story, I have some crazy, I have some freaking crazy like toxic ex story time. If you guys want to hear more, like make sure you guys comment down below. Let me know if you want to hear more. But yes, I have story times where I've been the toxic ex. I'm not proud of that, baby. I'm not proud of that. I mean, I'm an angel and I am not proud of that. But I definitely have a lot of story times where um, I've had toxic ex and things happened. And I was just like, oh, this is like very freaking unfortunate. But I'm happy it happened. You know why? Because guess what? It made for a great story time. Okay. Oh, hold on. Let me put on these. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You know, lashes are kind of like tricky and you got to make sure they're like attached to the eyelid because if not, yeah, yeah, you're going to be blinking. It's going to be just flapping. It's going to be flapping. It's going to be flapping. And that's not, that's not cute. That ain't cute. That ain't cute. Oh, oh, lashes. No lashes. Lashes. Uh, no lashes. Lashes. Uh, no lashes. Okay. This is so fun. I like doing this, getting ready and like talking with y'all yeah um, i was totally sad for like forever 
But, you know, my mom forgave me and everything like that. She didn't make a big deal about it, like, literally whatsoever. So I'm so thankful because, I mean, I could have, she could have kicked me out too. We both would have been just roaming the streets. <laughs> we both would have just been roaming the streets and that's like, that ain't cute, okay? We are almost done. This is the last thing I'm going to do. I went ahead and I put my earrings in. I put a little bedazzles me in. Put some glue gloss on. So I'm going to go in with Laura, the Laura Mercier Translucent setting power this is in the glow so it's gonna add some shimmer to my cheeks a little highlight here baby can y'all see oh can y'all lean back up can y'all see that but yeah that was the story time of when um my ex pushed me through the freaking wall we created a hole in the wall and yep that was the last time he ever that was the first and the last time he ever stayed here and my mom wasn't as pissed. Literally, I thought she was going to kill me, you guys. Like, literally, me being an adult, I'm still scared of my mom. Like, to this day, like, I'm scared of my mom. If she says something, I, you know what I'm saying? I, listen, period. <laughs> okay, I don't even curse around my mom, all right? Because, like, yo, she'll get on me, all right? Like, that's how we were raised. Like, I got a black mom. She don't play that. She don't play that. Um, she didn't kill me. I'm still alive. I'm still breathing. She let me live, okay? I, I brought you into this world. I'll take you out. That's the type of mom she is. Like, you know what I'm saying? She's really sweet. She's really nice. She's really calm. But she can get crazy. Don't try her, okay? Don't, don't, nobody, okay? <laughs> nobody. Ooh, y'all see that? Mm, nobody don't try her. I do have other story times. Make sure you guys go ahead and check out a story time when I was a toxic one and I almost went to jail over, you know, my ex, okay? So I'll put that story time in the description box down below as well as, the, as at the end of this video. And also there's story time where me and my ex tried to, you know what I'm saying, smoke some drugs. <laughs> you guys want to know like how that went down and what drug it was. I'll put that story time in the description box down below as well as at the end of this video so make sure you guys check those two out but if you guys want to know more story times if you guys have any questions or anything like that make sure you leave them in the comment section down below make sure you ooh, <laughs> baby when she let the hair loose when she let the hair loose all right like i did a review on this hair as well I'll put that in the description box. Y'all know by now. I'll put that in the description box down below. I know he like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, I should have kept her. I should have kept her because she's fine now. The glow up is real, okay? She's all that handsome. So, yeah, that is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys give this a big thumbs up. Make sure you guys like this video. Comment down below, and if you ain't subscribed, boo, you're toxic, you're toxic, you're toxic, and that is what it is, and it ain't cute, so make sure you go subscribe, and also want to end off with a little message, make sure you guys know your worth, don't put up with anybody's BS, okay, you are the queen, okay, if you're a guy, you are the king, and you deserve the best, you deserve for someone to treat you with so much respect and so much love, make sure you guys just don't, don't settle for less, okay, so I will see you guys in my next video, peace.